I remember being a beginner and I remember it being difficult to uh, know exactly what I should be working on and, and you know at the time there was no curriculum there you know the tips were, were kind of hard to come by and I had to figure a lot of stuff out on my own guys this is gonna be five tips to help beginners in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu my name is Bill Jones I'm the head instructor of top level martial arts in beautiful downtown Cuyahoga Falls you're watching professor's corner thank you for tuning in guys um, these five tips are, uh, I think, useful. So as opposed to just like, oh, hey, show up to class. I think that's kind of like a, yeah, if you don't show up, you're not going to get better. Um, so consider that a bonus tip or whatever. Like, I don't think that's a useful tip. All right, so tip number one, um, and these are in no particular order. Uh, tip number one is to learn one submission, one escape, and one reversal from every position. So... Uh, how's that work? So if you're talking about side control, I want you to learn at least one submission from side control and one escape from side control. And instead of a reversal, if you're on top, then you would, you would, you know, maybe a one way to mount or one way to take the back. Um, you know, same thing from guard, learn one sweep, learn one submission and one pass. So think about that one, one type of move from each position, um, just to get you started. And if you focus on that, then when you go to roll, you're going to have a much better idea of what to do in each situation. Um, tip number two, learn the mechanics, not the moves. So what's that mean? There are core mechanics that make every single technique work. And if you've ever uh, watched, um, you know, like high level guys train, you'll see them do things that, are, that seem like they're like, you know, well, how'd that guy think to do that? And it's not because he learned how to like flip and then roll upside down and then do that. It's because he understands the mechanics or she understands the mechanics well enough that they can um, apply them in multiple situations, even if they didn't exactly learn it in that situation. They, they're building those mechanics into their body. Things like shrimping, things like shrimping with the top foot, shrimping with the bottom foot, Things like uh, a, a uh, Gramby rolls, forward rolls, backward rolls, um, all these things, bear crawls, crab walks, um, leg movements. Focus on learning those things over techniques specifically because those are the things that build into a technique. Learn how to climb a body with your legs. You know, these, these things are going to build up and eventually allow you to come up with moves on your own. You know, you'll learn an arm, you know, you'll know an arm bar, but you'll be able to get an arm bar from a different position just because you have the mechanics already built in. And I think that's where a lot of people focus on a technique or a series of techniques rather than just mechanics. And that's a really hard way to learn. Um, for the first few months of your training, stay off the internet as far as looking for moves. Uh, this is number three, by the way. Uh, you know, don't don't be looking for new moves. Don't be looking for uh, you know specific escapes. Don't be don't be doing any of that. Just focus on what your coaches are telling you to do, um, and this will help you at first. Because there's a, I mean, and don't get me wrong, there's a ton of great, great, great grapplers sh having who have academies on the internet now. Marcelo Garcia, the Gracie Academy. I mean, uh, I think I think Salo Ribeiro's got something out there. Keenan Cornelius has stuff out there, guys. There's a lot of great stuff. Um, but if you just look at that, you, you might be missing some of the, the, the core principles that are really important um, that you're going to learn person to person, face to face from your instructor. So before you go onto the internet looking for ways to escape or ways to do this or that, focus first on the moves that you're being taught in the academy. And once you get really good at the core curriculum that you're being taught, that's when it's time to go out and look for other things. All right, so number four, um, find a black belt buddy. That's what my friend David Porter always says. When you go to a seminar, you should find a black belt buddy. And what that means is you want to train with people who are experienced. So when you're training with, uh, if you're a white belt, brand new, and you're training with another white belt who, I don't care how new of, or how old of a white belt they are, a white belt is still very new. Uh, you know, they've been training usually less than a year. Um, that person's not going to be able to help you as much as someone like a purple belt or a brown belt or a black belt. So when it's time to find a partner to train with, gravitate toward those higher ranking people. Don't be afraid to ask them. Be like, hey, can I be your training partner today? Even if it means that you have to you know, team up in a group of three in order to uh, be able to do that. 
um, because they're going to be able to give you details and they're going to be able to feel things that a beginner's not. And that's probably the most important part is, you know, they're going to understand, they're going to feel you do the move and they're going to say, oh, hey, your pressure isn't right. It needs to be over there because otherwise I'm just going to boop and be out. And you're like, oh, whoa, didn't even know that. Instructor didn't even say that, right? They're going to know things to tell you that, that the instructor is not going to be able to. Plus, they're going to be able to make you feel the move much better than someone else who's just beginning. So look for those black belt buddies, uh, as, uh, I like, as we like to put it. Um, and the fifth thing is commit to training long term. Uh, Jiu-jitsu is hard. It's very hard. So if you're, you're coming across this video and you're brand new and you're not sure, you're still on the fence, man, is this going to be too hard? It's going to be too hard. It's very hard. So don't expect it to ever be easier. It, it's always hard. So you want to commit yourself to training long term in order to get good. Uh, one of the things I recommend that I always did was, uh, you know, to to take an assistant instructorship or something like that that puts you in a position where you have to think long term and you have to um, be willing to do more than everybody else. Um, for some people, that means paying for, you know, two years in advance. For some people, that means paying, you know, like like signing a long term. Uh, membership for some people that just that's just a, an internal thing that, that you've made this commitment you know it doesn't have to be an outwardly you know grandiose gesture like paying for x amount of years or whatever it doesn't have to be that but you know start getting notebooks together date them say this is the notebook for the month of november 2019 this is for december 2019 and write it down you know so that you have all that stuff ready um, and, and that'll help get you mentally ready for the idea that what you're doing is a long-term venture and that you're okay with the short-term not being as good. Um, and then I'll give you one more bonus tip that I think people try a little too much as a beginner, and that's don't try to win in class and don't try to win the drill. A lot of times I'll see beginners, um, you know, they're, they're, it's just a drill. You're learning how to do a move and you're trying to like win at it, like, like, beat the other person. It's just a drill. You're, of course you're going to win. No one's trying to stop you. So relax. Move smooth through these drills. Because the smoother you can flow, the better off you're going to be in the long run. All right, guys, if you like what I'm saying, if you have any questions about that, leave them below. And then what are your tips? Do you have some awesome tips? I'd like to hear about those too because a lot of times, you know, I think of mine, but a lot of beginners out there, what questions do you have? What are the things that... that that get on your nerves and if you're someone who's been around for a while and you're watching definitely leave some some ideas for for our uh, beginner friends below all right guys smash the subscribe button give it a like i'll talk to you later this is professor professor's corner have a great one